Okay, this is the second screencast. This looks at uh, what are we going to do with our responses. In the first one, we actually set up a form with three questions, and then we came and did some responses. We gave one response. If we want to go to view responses, it comes up in a sheet. So automatically it links it to a new sheet, and on that sheet it tells us uh, the time it was done, the name of the person, and their answers, which is great. We want to use this to be able to create a, a marking scheme and give feedback. The problem with the new sheets in, in Google is that it doesn't allow you to put automatic triggers in there. So you can mark, you can get this to mark, but it won't happen automatically and an email won't go out automatically. And that's what we want to do. We want to make our workflow a lot easier. You can tell that this is a new form, a new sheet, sorry, because it has add-ons here. These add-ons are in the new sheets, but in the old sheets they're not. So what we want to do is we want to link this form to a new sheet. Okay, a, an old sheet that has the ability for us to be able to put in um, these automatic triggers. So this is how we do it. Okay, what we have to do is we have to find an old sheet on this website that you have a link to has uh, an old sheet that you can copy and you can just copy and put that in your drive and away you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go and open up a sheet. So I've actually got an old sheet here. So I'm going to open it up. Notice that in my drive now I've got my demo form, my demo form one responses. So this is at the moment the, the, the data has been collected from here putting it into there. I want to get it collected from here and put it into the old sheet. So let's open up the old sheet. I want to rename it um, so I know which one it is. So I'm just going to rename it by clicking on it and going um, demo form 1A and then I'm going to just put in responses because then I know this is my responses. Like that. And I put a 1A there so it doesn't get confused with the other one. So I go OK, that's cool. Now I come back to my demo form, and at the moment I've got all these kind of things. If I go to responses, I want to go and change my response destination. So I want to unlink the form first, done that. And unlink the form means it's not going to send any data to that old, that old spreadsheet. Now I've got this thing that says choose response destination. So it's taken it from that spreadsheet that was originally set up automatically, and now I can choose where I want it to go to. So I click on here. And it says a new sheet in an existing spreadsheet or go to the one that it's going to set up automatically. I don't want that. I want to go to the new spread in an, existing, in, an, in an existing spreadsheet and then I want to choose which sheet it is. Now it will automatically pull up the ones I've been playing around with lately. This is the one I want, my demo form 1A. Go select. That's what it's doing now is it's setting up the spreadsheet and if I go to view responses you'll see that I've got no, I've got uh, the same headers will appear and my data will come in as well. And that's exactly what I want. So I've changed where the, the responses are going to and it's in an old form, it's an old sheet because up here I haven't got the add-ins. Okay, so this is an old sheet and I haven't got the add-ins. So there I have um, my responses coming to this table, which is what I want, which is great. 